This planet Earth has approached the very crucial moment of our lifetime, especially when we are faced with the global warming, the climate change, the melting of the ice in the polar regions, the rise of the sea level. And in such times of crisis, it has called for very, very tough people, very resilient people who can stand against and face the challenges. We do have cases of sinking islands in Papua New Guinea, displacing mass populations who have been migrated into the mainland. But yes, we still have people living in the highlands in Papua New Guinea who are faced with this dilemma and are fighting this battle to themselves without the notice of the government or the outside world. Come with me and I'll take you to an island called Harmo in the CSU region of Morbi province in Papua New Guinea. Whilst the successive governments of this beautiful country, Papua New Guinea, are more focused on collecting taxes, are more focused on building big new mines, destroy the environment, while the government is more focused on spending rather than focusing more on investing, we have this massive, beautiful pearls and jewels, tourist attractions in this country that are lying idle. And one of them, undoubtedly, is the CSU Heavy. The CSU area is just so beautiful that one cannot express how express how beautiful it is. So, um, for the first time ever, I went to CSE. I left late at the around 8 o'clock night, and we spent about almost some 10, 10 hours on the sea, 10 or 18 hours on the sea. So, on the first sunlight, we were already in CSE. On the first sunlight, I came out to the deck, and I was like, wow, this is Papua New Guinea, this is my country? Like, the beauty of this place, CSE, has just struck me. I was so dumbfounded. I couldn't believe my eyes that this is my country, Papua New Guinea. And the thought just came into my mind. What have we been doing? What have we been doing? This place needs to be exposed to the world. This is a complete tourism attraction. Seriously, white sandy beach, reefs, blue sea, highlands, so magnificent, so exotic that our government, especially the provincial government, cannot promote this kind of place to attract tourists. 